Well, here's the view from the end of Fisher Tower Trail. 2.2 miles one way. There's the Colorado River. Our van in the foreground there, that little silver speck. Next up, the Mule Canyon Ruins Hike. Well, today in Southeast Utah, we're looking for the house on fire. Apparently it's down in this canyon, Mule Canyon, but the trail <coughs> to get down there is very eluding. Now on a little slightly abandoned BLM road, heading down to enter the canyon. A little more than a mile in, we hit an unexpected river crossing. Dun, 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 dun. Cold like I thought it would be. This is a fine example of a tree who's had the skin torn right off of it. The bark has withered. The bark has peeled away, leaving the skeletal remains to reach into the sky, never again to bloom in Mule Canyon where this poor tree died. The trail abruptly turned to the right, and what we saw was all right. Some people think that this looks like a house on fire because of this plumage above me. I think it looks more like a giant puffball mushroom. We climbed up a side route looking for some ancient ruins. Michelle thought she could See, smell I some. thought that these rocks, some of them look like they were shaped in a way that looked hand built, almost like bricks. Mm. But what we found was a cute cactus. Very cute cacti. Looks like we're gonna be headlamp hiking back. Not a single sign of life out here, aside from the two crows hoping that we would decease in this canyon. They will be sorely disappointed. Well, full darkness has settled in in this canyon and uh, we have reached the end of the trail, or so we assume. At this point, we're going to turn back because we have gone almost four miles in one way. We are going to turn around at this point, get back to the van, make some tasty dinner. Dinner is about to be served here. We made it back to the van after going to the house on fire. Oh, that's looking good. This is a new, new little thing. We're doing some hot Italian sausage, some garlic, roasted garlic uh, marinara, and some well al dente done noodles, and some peppers, of course, some peppers. And Michelle is taking care of our clothing. That's right, it's back in the van, do some chores, eat some food. And now it's time to enjoy. I'm sitting here in the passenger seat. <laughs> I've turned the van on for additional heat. <laughs> and I'm going to eat some sweet Italian pasta meat. <laughs> well, we were a little unsuccessful at finding uh, too many of the runes yesterday. We ran out of daylight, basically, and we uh, did a little research, and turns out there's seven additional ruins in the Mule Canyon. Yeah. So today we're starting a little earlier 
We're going to go out and we're going to bushwhack and we're going to find some Anasazi ruins. Yeah, we're going to make a quick mm -hmm. breakfast and then we're going to get ready to do a lot of hiking today. This is a spoiler alert. We didn't want to lie to you guys, our loyal subscribers. I know we've got thousands out there and we're going to come clean. We're not filming this right now as we're about to go on Mule Canyon. This is actually about three weeks later. We're currently in Jackson Hole editing the footage for the Mule Canyon, pretending like we're informing you as it's happening. We it's fooled you, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways. Back to the Mule Canyon hike. So we're back out on the Mule Canyon trail. Second day in a row because yesterday we came out later in the evening. Today we have more information with some mileage markers and some hints to be able to find eight additional ruins. So let the search begin. Well, we just decided to uh, get off the trail, hike up, hike up this little ridge and bam. <laughs> we have climbed up here, found the nice little route. Now there's a couple little storage areas. I don't think this one's a house, but it's possible that there's some other buildings nearby. We decided to stay up high. Yesterday we traveled down in the canyon. Now we're up on the canyon walls, half mile to the next ruin. As we forge our own trail, I found a little trail candy. Look at this tree's massive roots. Long dead, but ages ago it burrowed deep. Deeper than Khazal Dun. Popped the rock ledge, as you can see the debris right here. Continued to reach for the ground and grow and grow until old age took it. A little further up, we ran across the hedgehog trees, bushes, shrubs, what have you, what have you nots. And we've got a little hanging garden over here. We're going, going around here. Still taking the high canyon route. Should be coming real close to the ruins. Oh, look what we have here. The alcove. Wow. That one's in very good shape. Yeah, we've stumbled across the fourth rune, the collapsed Kiev. The man hut. Michelle took the low path and she's regretting it. Explored the entire path around Ruin 4 and the only feasible option looks to be a little juniper bush that decided to grow down to lend us a hand. After a short climb, we've made it to the fourth set of ruins. five well we followed the canyon right into a pit well the trail has gone cold searching for the fifth ruin we find ourselves traversing up and down this canyon going into holes only to find a drop off 50 foot drop off at the end oh this one has been very tricky to find but i think we're coming across it i'm seeing some some remains of ruins we had to go through a pretty crazy little canyon area where we took a few bad steps a few bad turns but this looks to be it this should be scene five looks like we got a little granary oh yes here's a little granary built in nice little storage area Keep all my little corn. A little cornhole, if you will. Well, we're trying to see if we can't find some. That looks like that might be carved in. That looks like an owl. Owl. Is that the name of one of those scientists? While exploring the bottom of the ruins, Michelle seems to have come across 
Oh, nice. Up oh. there, they have the big squirrel representing the sun. You can see a few handprints in between. A stream of three animals right there. Yep, big oh, horn. Well, we're finally turning back. It's about 3.15. We're going to be fighting daylight getting back out of the canyon because we're a good three and a half miles in. And it's some rough going, but it was really cool. We flew the drone. We're able to find some uh, rune number six. It goes down this ravine. It's on the right side. It's called the wall ruin. And the next uh, rune follow you look over this hump and then straight ahead right there there's some square objects you can see just barely and uh, that's rune number seven I do believe then over here on this black black little knuckle underneath that you'll see a little ledge and right at the very edge of where the black is, there's this impossible to get to small little building with some wood still sticking out of it. And past that, there's another little village. So very cool. We didn't even have to hike that way. We just used the drone and did a little bit of uh, aerial archaeology. Very cool. Very cool. originally came down this route and we got boxed off the canyon closes up all on the trail back one mile to house on fire and then we're going to climb up the right canyon to uh, cut off about two and a half miles off of our round trip there is a marked trail that apparently goes right up that that canyon wall well we're beginning the final ascent to leave mule canyon Good luck, Michelle. Your hat's looking particularly poofy today. Well, after a good 300 some odd foot climb, a little bit of trail finding, I think we've just about gotten out. Oh, I did it. Just a few prickly pears. Sun's shining down the valley. Oh. Whew. That was a climb. Oh yeah, the van comes into view. We finish our hike. We finish our hike. <laughs> and oh, what a hike it was. Nearly 10 miles of rough, trail breaking, canyon crawling, scuttle bugging. Bushwhacking, 
pathfinding, thorns blazing, cactus stomping, hooting hollering, hiking.